Hello guys, Dershot here and this video is just basically showing you how to edit saved beats in FL Studio. Right? So first of this number just play the um codes that are actually laid out here. This is actually from the um retro beat sample pack. It's actually um an 808 that I actually just turned into a melody just for this purpose only. Okay, that's the beat there. Well, the chord, sorry. And basically, what I want to do here now is head over to tools, um, macros, and prepare for MIDI export. So, you prepare for MIDI export, you hit OK. Right. Now, you want to go there, hit export, export as MIDI. Right, let's name it. Well, in this case, we use a soft e piano from Citrus, so we could label it soft oh. and Citrus. Right, so we can save it. So you can do this is a process you can use here, but I'll show you other process. Um, in terms of once you edit it's imported back into FL Studio, the instrument that you actually use will show up on the on the um Kashan rack, sorry. So let's just start this. So it's exported. I believe. Yes it is. So what we want to do here now is close this off. Minimize this and where is it? Oh, yeah, this is the free demo, so that will come up. We're looking for the file. Is this it? No, where is it? Seems as if I didn't save it on the desktop. Okay, let's search for it. Okay, so here it is. So where did I put it? Oh, open file location. Normally what I will do, I'll put it on the um, desktop, but in this case I did not. I put it in spooky loop, so let's just drag it out on there, put it on the desktop. So I'm basically doing more, more than one tutorial here today. Tutorial. So you just want to grab this and you want to open with FL Studio. Right, um, it may it may or may not have noise in the background. I'll try my best to edit all the noise in the background because in this pandemic, my kids are home, and um, yeah, so that's basically the noise they'll be hearing in the background. Hopefully, I can be will be able to edit all the noise in the background. Okay, so this is taking a while. Right, so here it is. It's up, loading. And I press accept. Okay. Was this here? Okay, let's close that off. Basically, what you want to do now is play. And what you recognize here is when you play it, the instrument. The instrument is actually playing on a basic piano, um, maybe from the stock stuff in there. Could be a, a, a stage grand or I don't know which piano it's actually playing there. So what you want to do now is you want to right click, hit replace, go back to Citrus, look for your soft E piano. Bam, there it is. So now you're going to hear the difference now. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Now the problem with this is that some plugins don't actually label their stuff. So let's let's try morphine and I'll show you what I'm speaking about. So let's say I use a plugin like morphine. What will end up happening is if I search for a let me say a keyboard and I press aliens keyboard keyboard sorry you recognize that it does not change the name here so what you could actually do is rename this quick and what to whatever it is so let's say I selected a string string guitar morphine right so it's actually string guitar morphine and what we want to do is let's just copy this here control a control c and then let's go back to the channel rack and let's just delete this off the piano and do the process over again so we delete that and Head over to the piano roll. Control V to paste it back in. Let's see how it's on. Alright, uh, that, that sounds so weird, but just for tutorial purposes, we will go with that. And we want to head over to macros. Prepare for MIDI. Okay. File. Export as MIDI. This time let's make sure and select the desktop. So we're putting it on the desktop. Edit this to test. Oh, let's put more fins. Oh, we could actually just name it anything here. T E S T. And we're gonna press save. Hit start. It's done. I believe. Right, so we close this off. Uh, let's close that one time. This is the free version of FS Studio again, so that's why it will do that. So the test, we're taking this test and we're dragging it and just dropping it on FS Studio 20. Oh, Alright, it's coming up. I don't know, most of the times when I record in this laptop, it takes a long while to, to load stuff. CPU usage is like very high. Okay. So we hit OK. And let's see if the name comes up. Okay, so here it is. The name actually came up. So it's a good thing to actually label all of your um, instruments. Even though some of the plugins does not that do, um, does not label it. It's a good thing to label it if it is they want to do this process. So basically, um, it's named String Guitar Morphine. So you know exactly where you get it. So it's String Guitar and the Morphine um, plugin. And you want to go back and find that because it will just be playing a basic piano here. Right, so that basic plan is now what you want. So you can right click, hit replace, look for morphine, find morphine, go back to whichever instrument you use. We went in strings and we just select acoustic guitar, I believe. That's it. Right, right guys, that's it. Um, this video was kind of rushed. I wasn't really uh, put myself to, put wasn't really put together to do this video. But I just created this video just to show you all simply how you can actually keep your name here. So actually, see, it goes back to morph went back to morphine. So if you're exporting this, make sure and right click and um, rename it. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you see value in this video, hit the like, hit the subscribe, um, turn on the bell for future videos, guys. Hope this video was hope this video actually give value and clear up some of the questions that some people had about. Um, Editing safe beats in FL Studio. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.